And that's the truth of life. <laughs> it's so much joy. It's so fun. The, the fear of survival and fear of not worthy and fear of not safe are not true about life. Mm-hmm. And, and if we... Like, yep. Yep. Well, when I sent you... After I sent you the note last night, I got, I got triggered because I was like, I wrote that everything's going well. And what if it's not? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> but what if that's the truest thing there is to ever say ever? <laughs> then not safe is kind of obsolete. Yeah. That's scary for not safe. Yes. Yes. But we can bring compassion and tenderness to not safe instead of identification. Right? That becomes the practice. We practice to have make that the habitual response. But when not say fires, we move to compassion and tenderness instead of identification. It's simple, but it's tricky. In part because not safe's urgency mm-hmm. and also its direness. And I'll, and it's so habitual. It's like to just move to identification is so habitual. Yeah. Yeah, there's like so much practice <laughs> doing that. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. A lot of hours over a lot of lifetimes <laughs> logged that when not yeah. safe fires, <laughs> you get identified and believe it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I had, I I didn't realize like how tough the like the last well i guess entire lifetime but like <laughs> in particular <laughs> like, <laughs> how yeah how tough like the last couple of weeks or couple of months at work had been and it just kept getting louder and louder and louder and then i had five days off and i don't i don't think i've ever um dedicated myself so much to to just being in silence um and yeah like finally kind of breaking through into the wound mm-hmm. um and, and what yeah, wound just, what wound was there well well what 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 i felt was like just like the the persona of like my work and my career and like this particular job and yeah, it's the identity, right? This, yeah. So we get on the surface, right? All this resistance, like not safe, not safe, I'm not okay, right? Captivating you into try to some kind of action, which is all nonsense, right? But I love how it's mm-hmm. like, so you finally stop and just really focus inside. And then we hit this real core identity. And then what was under mm-hmm. the identity? It felt like, like kind of, piercing through and then just like bliss and compassion and love yes isn't that amazing (laughs) that's what's under there (laughs) (laughs) because that's you we are organically (laughs) all of us yeah and then and then the ramifications of of kind of like touching into that is this week feeling so effortless and like I <laughs> I don't really know how I did things and how I knew the things that I knew. It's just Yeah. Because there wasn't the me identity going to work, mm-hmm. doing work. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. Instead, your organic state of just bliss and joy and present awareness just that's where all the information was. It was right there. It wasn't, 
you didn't have to carry it and hold it and move around it like just right there it's just in the, and it creates a flow and yeah, the flow remains the, the, untraceable not, yeah i'm not like carrying this encyclopedia of of knowledge which is really like an encyclopedia of identity like all the different times that i fucked up or like all the things that i read and i did well it's like <laughs> trying to bring it all and like stuff it into the moment <laughs> yes you know it's really interesting whenever i'm working with like you know the people that are like my master healers or my master coach like meg is master coach or scott or jill um i'm like listen all of the information of all of your training remains in your being but you separate me identifier doesn't have to carry it into the room all the time mm -hmm. and there's a there's a real mastery of letting everything go so that there's just this moment and there's just the listening that's it and then whatever's needed shows up organically and 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 uses pulls from all the hours logged and training done but it's not a separate me carrying it it's just what arises in the moment it's just and in a way that's almost like the definition of a ma of mastery anyways right is to be able to just instead of carrying the identity of like how mm -hmm. I fucked up or how I'm going to help or how I'm going to make this perfect or how these people are going to yeah. love what I do or how I'm going to get approval, like throw it. Yeah. Cause like something simple today, like they were looking at like how to get these frame lines on the screen. And so everybody was like trying to get into different menus. And so I just went on the menu into the camera and it was just like, I don't know, just like pockets of information. And it was just like, feels good to press this button and this button and this button. Yes. And they were like, yes. how did you know that was in there? <laughs> and, and the truth is, is like, in that feels good to push this button and this button, there is some draw, but it's not coming from the identity of your experience and your know-how mm -hmm. and your hours long. Yeah. But you don't carry it around. It gets alivened in the moment that it's needed. Yeah. Because usually in those moments, I get, like, the cold sweat because I bring the story of, like, oh, shit, I don't know camera menus. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> the identity. That's an identity. Exactly. Uh -huh. I'm the one who doesn't uh -huh. know enough here. Yeah. Yeah. And equally, like, I'm the one who usually gets this right. Right. Exactly. Exactly. In both cases, right? There's the identity uh -huh. blocking... <laughs> actual pockets of information yeah. that your actual experience allows you to read <laughs> you know your training yeah. your experience your your you know hours logged means you can yeah. read that pocket of information is all yeah but the the key takeaway here right is that nothing needs to be held and when yeah. nothing is held and we're just in leaning into the presence of this moment which is which is pleasure we lean towards the pleasure where the pleasure is where that ease is when we lean towards that it actually creates more availability to information and then if we don't carry that as an identity we play with it in a really light, joyful, curious exploration that leads one to more flow, more, f mm. more adventure, more play. Mm. Yeah. And, you know, it could have also been that I, I didn't know where it was. Mm. Like, it doesn't so you stayed curious. Have in, yeah. 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 Like, it doesn't, it doesn't have know. to end up in, like, the right result. No. Because like, that's the thing that's been let go of. That's the very identity that's been let go of. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And people always come to me with purpose conversations, and they're like, and I'm like, well, what do you think your wiring is? It's like, I don't know. I really want to serve. I really want to help. I'm like, oh, okay. Well, here's our, that's the main problem. <laughs> right there. <laughs> 
that there, that's the identity. That's not going to get you anywhere. <laughs> I love it. <laughs>